Hi, I'm Heba, and today I'm going to take you through an all-standing fitness ballet workout. All you need is a little bit of space and a chair. You're better off without shoes, just to get maximum action at your feet. And let's go ahead and start. So, can we start with the feet about hip distance apart? Standing nice and tall, just roll your shoulders back. Two, three, four, and change direction. Circle, one, two, lay your arms, just hang heavy. Three, four. Now take your arms out to the sides and glide your ribs over one way and then the other way. So nice and slow, keeping your arms level with the floor and feeling like you're moving your rib cage one way to the other without tipping or losing alignment. You can add some arm rotations here, so one arm rolls in, one arm rolls up. Usually the one, the direction we're going towards is the direction of the palm up. And this will loosen up your spine and warm up your shoulders. Hold it in the middle now and you're going to take the arms across the body and beside you into horizontal figure of eights. Keep alternating which arm goes on top. Let's do another four. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Okay, lightly hold on to the side of your chair. We're just using this for basic, just to, to not tense your body, but don't lean into it too much. You're going to lift your outside leg, and you're just going to do some hip pendulums. And what you're trying to do is move your leg without moving your pelvis or your lower back. So this is one of the biggest benefits of ballet training, or fitness ballet in this case, is you're trying to get really good at standing core stability, where you can really disassociate leg from trunk, and it can do its own thing. Change legs now, lift, and go for another 20 seconds or so of just loosening up the hip, avoiding hitching your whole pelvis up. And you may feel that one direction is a little bit locked or sticky, and that's normal. It's just the natural imbalances of the body. Okay, relax. Let's go ahead and focus on the knee now. So you're going to lift your leg, and imagine you're stirring a pot with your foot. It's a nice big circle. Change direction. This is a different movement to the pendulum we just did. This is the foot itself is circling round. Let's take the other leg up, circle, keep your height, change direction, stirring, stirring with that foot, and relax. Last one is the ankle circle, so circle the ankle round, and try not to involve your toes excessively, so feel like it's really just an isolated ankle movement. Change direction. You're looking for parts of that ankle circle that are a little sticky or choppy, and just try to slow it down through that part. And go ahead and take your other leg forward, circle your ankle around one, two, three, four, and change direction one, two, three, four. Okay. Take your legs to a first position. First position in ballet is this turn out from the tops of your thighs. Drop your tailbone a little bit, and you're going to do some little demi plies. So breathe in to bend the knees and breathe out to stretch. Just to warm up your ankles, your hips, and get that comfort and turn out while your spine is lengthened. So bend and stretch and bend, stretch and squeezing the inner thighs together. Tendency in this exercise is to stick the bottom out. So try and stay very stacked. Pelvis or bottom, ribs directly on top of it. Okay, now hold your demi plie, lift your heels up, stretch the legs, lower the heels. So we're gonna bend the knees, lift the heels, stretch the legs, lower the heels. Bend the knees, Lift the legs, stretch the heels, lower the legs. Bend the knees, lift the heels, stretch the legs, lower the heels. Last time, bend, 
and lift and stretch. Now we reverse it. We're going to go up, then bend the knees, heels come down, and then you straighten your legs. So we go up and bend, heels down, and stretch. And part of the benefit of this movement is that you're able to isolate your ankles and your knees and your hips to move separately. Up, bend, heels down, stretch, and up and bend, heels down, and stretch. We're going to hold it at the top now. Keep your heels high. And we're going to bend and stretch into that demi-plie, so it's a half squat, with the heels extra high. To make this easier, feel free to lower the heels. Feel free to hold the chair with both hands also, facing it. You want to feel like your legs are constantly spiraled outward at the hip joints. So that as you straighten your legs, your knees are pointing sideways and they're not pointing to the front or rolling inward. Five, four, three, two, and then we're going to hold. So hold this position with the heels high, and we're going to do two eighths of pulses. One, two. Pulses is like just basically you're doing an isometric hold in the position. You're just doing some tiny little pulses to build tension in the muscle and to calm you down as well instead of just holding and feeling everything tense up. Another eight, one, two, three, and you should feel your legs now. Five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Fantastic. Okay, go ahead and take your feet now to a parallel position, and we're going to repeat the same thing. So feet stuck together. You're going to bend the knees, lift the heels, stretch the legs, and lower the heels. Bend the knees, lift the heels, stretch the legs, lower the heels. We go bend, lift, stretch, and lower. Bend, lift, stretch, lower. Bend, lift, stretch. Don't let your heels separate. Keep them stuck together. Now change direction. We go up and bend, heels down, and stretch. Up and bend, heels down, stretch. Up, bend, heels down, stretch. One more time. Up, and bend, heels down, stretch. Now we stay up. Again, focus on the heels staying together and putting a bit more pressure on the big toe side of the foot. We're going to bend and stretch. One, two, three. Try and relax your shoulders. Five, six. Relax the upper body in general. Although the lower body is working hard, you want to always try and balance Attention and relaxation in your body. Okay, hold it now halfway. We're going to go again for those pulses. Pulse one, two, three, four. Baby little bounces. Six. With the heels high, but take your heels down if you want to modify this. Another eight. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and relax. Fantastic. Okay, we go back to our turnout first position. Take your demi-plie with your heels high, and this time we're going to stay here, but we're going to isolate the ankles. So you're going to lower the heels and lift the heels. Lower the heels and lift the heels, trying to stay in exactly the same height. So you don't want to be going up and down. Imagine the ceiling is right where your head is, and you don't want to bump your head. We go lower and lift, lower and lift, pushing your knees out to the sides as you lift the heels to keep your hips and trunk in the same height. Okay, let's hold, and we're going to do another set of two eights pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another eight. One, two, just keep the breathing relaxed and Slow, five, six, seven, eight, rest. Turn your feet back to parallel. We go up again into releve. Releve just means up on your toes. Bend the knees and lower and lift your heels, staying in the same height again. One, two, three, four, 
five, push your knees forward, six, seven, eight, and hold, two eights, pulse, uh, two eights lowering and lifting now, faster, one, two, three, so the same movement but fast on the ankles, five, six, seven, one more, eight, one, two, so I'm just adding these to build some tension in the muscle, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two eights pulses now, one, two, keep the heels together, four, five, six, seven, and another eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, relax. So you should have felt the front of your legs especially really working there. Notice if you're holding tension here, try and relax and reset your upper body. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more single leg stuff now. So go ahead and take your turn out position and take your leg forward and back. Forward and back rolled out. So even though my leg is turned out, it's not out to the side. It should be directly in front of you, pointing to whatever is directly in front of you. And here's where it may feel like a very easy drill, but try to really focus on the stability here. Your pelvic bone is not following as your leg goes. It stays exactly where it is, and you're isolating the leg. Now hold the leg forward. We're going to lift and lower that leg in that turnout position, so that when you lift and lower, start to lift and lower, you should feel like it's your inner thigh that's lifting your leg. Your leg is spiraled out, your inner thigh is lifting. Five, four, three, two, and hold the leg there. Now we're going to do little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the height. Seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now when you lift the leg again, you're going to bend it slightly in an attitude position. And then take it down straight. Lift it in attitude, take it down straight. Attitude just means a bent, turned out leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift and hold. And tiny little lifts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, hold, take the leg across the midline of the body and over the other ankle, and then take it out to the side. So you go across and open, across and open, across and open. Keep the height, keep the length of your spine and your trunk, and feel like this leg is doing its own thing and you're this statue, unaffected by what it's doing. Let's go another five. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. You should feel all these turnout muscles of the leg switched on now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go straight to the side and then we're going to do all that on the other side. So first, take your leg out to the side and then bring it back in. Out to the side, bring it back in, out in these little tendu positions. Three, Four, pointing your foot as it reaches, five, six, seven, and hold. Now here, make sure your hip bones are like headlights, pointing forward. And if you don't have a lot of turnout in your hip joint, you, meet, you need to bring your leg forward a bit. So we're going to lift and lower. One, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be high. Five, six, Seven, think of two drinks on your, sitting on your shoulders so you're not leaning into your chair. Eight, hold, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep lifting, make the leg light. Last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, take the leg to a passe position. It's like the yoga tree position, but you're not resting your foot against your leg. 
your toes are barely touching your leg and from here you're going to curtsy behind you and then come up back to passe again. So curtsy and up. Curtsy like you're taking a bow on stage and then go ahead and lift. One, two, we're doing eight of these, three. Now you should start to feel your other leg working. It was already working a bit to stabilize you throughout all of that. Seven, eight, into a grand butt more now, so curtsy and kick. Two, three. Again, it doesn't have to be high, but you're aiming for a little higher than what you had before. Five, six, seven, and eight. Relax. Okay, we're gonna turn to face the chair now. We're going to do the back portion and then we'll do all this on the other side. So, first bend your leg that was just working, the one that was kicking out to the side. It's going to bend and you're facing the chair. You're going to reach the leg back and in, back and in. Feel free to lean forward, especially if you have the kind of posture where your lower back very easily arches. Five, four, three, two, and hold. Now we're going to bend again. As we stretch it, we bend the standing leg. And one, two, three. Energize the back leg as it goes. Four, five, six, seven. One more eight of these. And one, two, three, four, reach. Five, six, seven, and hold. We're going to pulse down now. One, two, three, four, five. You should really feel your standing glute now. Last eight. One, two, three, the bottom of the standing leg. That's what you should be feeling. Seven, eight, and relax. Okay. That leg that's on the floor, take it across your other leg and just go into a bit of a stretch. So it looks like this. Just a little glute stretch. And relax. The leg that was kicking about is going to go up on top of the chair and stretch forward. Depending on the height of your chair, you can choose to put it on the floor. You can feel free to put it down here if you have a little bit of stiffness or your chair is too high. And feel free to flex your foot and reach. And relax. Stretch your shoulders now. Come down. Let your head hang. Try and get your spine as flat as possible. And roll up. Okay, we're going to move the chair over to the other side and we're going to repeat all the front series, the side series, and the back series. So, we go back to our turnout first position. You're going to take your outside leg forward, one, small movement, two. Remember this one, although it feels easier, you're thinking of the quality. Can your leg move in isolation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold. Keeping the turnout, lift from your inner thigh now. We go up one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Energy in the leg. Another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold. Little pulses. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more eight. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and bend the leg now in attitude and stretch it as on the way down. So lift one, two, three, four, and really spiral your leg out. Think of your quad wrapping outward around your thigh bone, pulling the bone out. Six, seven, and hold. Little pulses up. One, two, three, four. You should really feel this in the joint. Six, seven, another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it across the body and then out 45 degree. One, two, three. Two eights of these, there's no pulses after it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, we go to this side now. Point out tendu and then pull it back in. Use the inner thighs to hug the leg back in without having to bend the knee. So you wanna flex your foot and because you're standing so tall, you, there is no need to bend your gesture leg. You're standing leg straight at all times. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out to the side, and we're gonna lift and lower. Remember, headlights here. Bring your leg forward if you need to. One, two, three, four. Your standing leg should be working if it's doing its job and you're not leaning into your chair. Seven, one more, eight. One, two, leg is long, reaching away. Four, five, six, seven, and hold. Little pulses up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Bend to passe now. We do the curtsy. So we go curtsy behind the body and then up to passe position. The arm is pretty optional. You can add it if you want to or just take your hands by your hips. Four. Again, we're doing two eights. Six. Seven. Eight. One more eight. One. Two. You can make these deeper or shallower depending on your energy. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we go from curtsy to grand battement and kick one, two. Your standing leg should really feel this now. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. And kick one. Reach the leg long. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Turn to face your chair now and kick the leg back and bend it. Reach one, two. Remember, you can lean forward a bit. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. One, two, standing legs should be pointing forward at this stage. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now as the uh, leg straightens, your standing leg is gonna bend now into like a single leg squat. So we go one, two, three. Remember it's the target is the glute of that standing leg the bottom of the standing leg. Five, six, relax your shoulders, seven, eight, and even though you're leaning forward, lean forward, lengthened, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and hold. Energize the back leg, pulse down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're feeling that? Last eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Relax. The leg that was pulsing on the ground, take it across your other leg and stretch. The leg that was kicking and behind you that goes up on top of the chair and stretch. The hamstring. And relax. Stretch your shoulders. And your back. And rest. Okay, the final bit of today is going to be a little section on the upper body. So we're going to sit on the chair and we're going to try and do some dips. So go ahead and take, just get my hair out of the way so you can see. Go ahead and take your hands to the edge of the chair. Come forward a little bit with your bottom. And make sure that your back is straight and it's not tucked under. So stick your bottom out and push your shoulders down and away. You don't want to be here hanging out. You want to press your shoulders down, lift your sternum, and hold this position. Then bend your arms, allowing your shoulder to roll forward a little bit. You don't want it to go completely forward and your spine rounds. It just rolls forward a tiny bit, but you keep your sternum lifted. Okay, go ahead and sit back down again, and we're ready to do the full movement. We're going to do two eights, and then we're going to hold it at the bottom, two eights pulses. As you get tired, please avoid rolling your shoulders forward. Keep them in the sockets, and then when you need a rest, it's better to just rest and pick it up. Pause, pick it up when you're ready. All right? So, sternum up, inhale, one, two, you don't have to go very deep either, three, Four, five, six, seven. Hard chairs are better than soft chairs for your wrists. Another eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The accents down. One more eight, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back to sitting on the chair. Give your arms a little bit of a shake. Okay, we're going to do one more set of that if you want to make it more progressed, more advanced. As you're doing your pulses, you can do one eight with one leg lifted, and then on the other eight pulses, you do the other leg lifted. As you lift your leg, watch that you don't tuck your bottom under and you're rounded. Keep sticking your bottom out. Ready? Or just repeat the same one if you wanted to keep it modified. And one, two, three. Breathe deep. Four, five, six, seven. One more slow eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stretch and pulse, one, two, three, four, bottom out, six, seven, eight, switch legs, and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go ahead and come back to sitting, and let's just cool down now while we're sat on the chair, so first things first, you're going to hug the backs of your thighs, let your head drop, and this is a great stretch on the lower back. And as you're in this position, I want you to channel the air into the back portion of your rib cage. And feel it actually moving, feel it become elastic. And then go ahead and roll up, 
twist over to one side as far as you can without leaning. Nice tall spine. Twist over to the other side. And relax. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. And I hope to see you again.